Hello, and welcome to Notes 9. I'm David Leedy from lotusnotebook.com. Episode 15, Searching Email and More. Why simply listen to Twit when you can tweet on Twitter? Okay, so I've been wanting to do an end-user show for a little bit, and here I'm going to take basically two questions from Twitter. Sometimes I go into Tweet Deck and I monitor people mentioning Lotus Notes, and uh, quite honestly, it's not always pretty. So I try to help out where I can because there's a lot of misunderstandings out there. So here's two people who, the first one wants to know how to change the browser to Chrome and not use the embedded browser, and, and the other guy was having some problems searching. So let's talk about that. Uh, to change the browser, um, typically you've got a location at the bottom right-hand corner, and you can go in there and you can edit the location. And there's a tab in there for internet browser. And, and that really applies mostly to the older versions of Notes. We're now on the, the Eclipse client with a Domino 8.5 and 5.1 um, that you have you know, the file preferences and you've got this big list of preferences that you have that we never had before. And you can set the browser in there to use the browser default from your operating system. So that's basically what we're gonna talk about in the demo. Uh, also, in the quick search for the guy who wants to do searching is there's two ways of search. There's going to be quick search and there's going to be full text search. And, and quick search is I use this all the time, and especially in my custom applications like a Salesforce automation system where I've got you know 80,000 customers by name. Um, I never use a full text search there. I just you know go to the by name view and, and start using quick search to get to where I need to be. And it, it works with whatever is the sorted column. So it doesn't have to be the first column because you might have some arrows on there to sort differently. It just needs to be the sorted column. Um, and, and you just type it. And, and again, where do you type it? You just type it as long as your focus is in the view. So maybe if you click on a document in the view once and start typing, the, the search box is going to just appear. And then the alternative to the quick search, which is the real search, is the full text search. And a lot of people don't see this. Um, and what you have to do is typically you have to turn this on. And you click on uh, view and then search this view to bring up the search controls. Um, and then there's going to be like a little dot there. It's going to be green or red to, telling you whether or not you've got a full text index or not. If you can, make an index because um, it's going to help you in your searching, but you don't have to. When you do have an index, though, there's this little section on that, that tool area called more. And you can do things uh, like date, author, by, uh, searching. Example form is a particularly good one. Um, and you can sort the results. But you, you might want to just be a little careful with the sorting uh, because I've had some kind of bad luck there where something would show up on one sort but not on another. And I've never quite figured that out myself. Okay, so let's go to the demo. Okay, the first question that I want to address is the browser question. Uh, the person wanted to use Chrome and probably wanted to not be embedded into the Notes client. So here's a link on an email. Here's Chrome in its own window. Well, how do you do that? It's really pretty easy. On the newer versions of Notes, you come down to File, Preferences, and right here is Web Browser. And you can choose between the default, which I believe is use the browser embedded in this client, or use the browser I've set as the default for this operating system. And then you can just go in your operating system through the control panel or, or wherever and set your browser and you're good to go. On older versions of Notes, you have this location down here. Well, I mean, every version has that. But if you go into your location that way, um, and again, it may look a little different, um, but you can get to a screen where you've got a tab for internet browser and you can set it there. Okay, so let's talk about searching. Okay, now the, the guy on Twitter, I think, was um, getting confused between quick search and full text search. Quick search is a feature inside any notes database where if you've got a uh, sorted column, I'm going to sort this by who, and you want to jump up to somebody's name, um, you just type. Where do you type? Well, you just type. So if I want to go up to and see if there's something by Scott Good, there's Scott Good. If I want to go for Bruce Elgort, you just type the first couple of characters. The more you type in, the more risk you're going to mess it up. Um, and again, this is not specific to the who or the first sorted column. It's the sorted column. So if I click on subject here and I come down to uh, H, okay, here's my H's, W, um, et cetera. So whatever that you can sort by, you know, you could do it by date if you wanted, you know, because it was obviously paging down is kind of lame. Um, 
So that is Quick Search, and that's available in any application. And, and I use that a lot in, in our customer sales system, things like that, or my, my people do that. Okay, so let's talk about full text search. In the newer version of Notes, you've got this little thing here, search all mail. You can have a little drop down um, where you can search your calendar, your contacts, and um, other stuff. And quite honestly, I, I, I never use that. I always just go the old fashioned way and I do view, search this view. So now notice it's not indexed. Now, but that doesn't mean it's not going to work. So if I search for wiki, I'm going to get some articles on wiki. Not where it's just in the subject, like here, but also where it's in the body. Where it's Now, this is not indexed, so it's going to be, it's got to be kind of a clear, clear hit. So I'm going to create an index here. And I did that with this more option, create index. And you may not be able to create it on your server. Um, you, you may have some, maybe some access issues in play, but if you can, Definitely create an index. If you're not authorized to create an index on your own server, uh, make a local replica and you can always do it that way. Um, okay, so now it's been indexed. Well, that was pretty quick. There's not a lot of emails here. If I search for wiki here, now I've got 34 updates uh, and it's a lot better. And, and some of these things now it's getting wiki in the term Wikipedia. Um, so it's a little less clear cut. Um, if I want to search for open NTF, Oops, if I can type. So if I do open NTF, bam, here's everything that mentions open NTF. If I want a little more rare of a term, how about racing? Oh, there's two that have mentioned racing, one in the subject and one uh, in the body. Um, but if I search, if I go back to the wiki search, this isn't you know, 34 documents. That's not every article or email I have that reference wiki. Because uh, I've done this uh, Wiki Madness with Chris Tui. And over here, I've got a folder called Wiki Madness. And here is articles, or, or I'd say articles again, I mean emails, uh, based on Wiki Madness. Well, why didn't they show up? Because the search here is searching the inbox. And these emails have been moved from the inbox into this folder. Well, if you don't remember where you put something, or you don't know what folder may be in play for your, your storage, Go to all documents. All documents has everything, regardless of folder. So now if I type wiki and hit enter, now I've got 72 documents. So this is every instance of wiki. Okay, so that's cool. So when in doubt, go to all documents for searching. Now, now that we are indexed, we also have more options that show up here. We have date, okay? And we can do is on, is before, is not on, etc. We can do author, field. Uh, here's a good one. And again, this is not specific to email. This is any database. But here, let's look at this fill out example form. Let's do wiki in the subject line. Oops, don't need the enter. And I click add. Oops, and I, let me get rid of this original search term. Okay, so now I've got matches example form. And I do search. Now I'm only going to get it where wiki is in the subject. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. And then what else you can do is you can get rid of this, and I really just found this out as I was pre prepping for this show. You can click on this search results. So now we're going to, we can narrow it down from the search results. So let's look at permission. One email, that's cool. I did not know that before I started that show. So you can start with a search of however big it is, and you can just kind of just start winding it down or narrowing it down in your search results. And, and you've got some other options here of interest. Fuzzy search you can turn on, word variants. You can control sort results, re, sort results by. And you've got some options here. And uh, that is, and when, you, when you're done, make sure you clear it. You go back up to your inbox. And that is kind of searching in a nutshell. And that's our demo. So I hope you learned a little bit there on searching and how to change your custom browser. Uh, or change the browser to be the embedded browser to um, the operating system browser. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, here's my contact information. Thank you very much.